Hello everyone, in this video we'll be talking about the government sector. Now there are two ways government can actually impact our equilibrium. First of all, let's re recap the formula. We had AD is equal to C plus I plus G plus NX, right? And C was equal to autonomous C plus C, Y plus TR minus TA, right? Now, in both formulas, you've got G for government, government spending, and TR and TA both are government's uh, income and expenditure, right? So, government can basically impact our equilibrium in two ways. First is by changing their government spending, which will directly impact AD. And the second is by changing TR or changing TA, which will impact our C and C will impact AD, right? Now let's take these elements, give them some name for G, for TA and for TR. Let's assume that G is going to be autonomous again for G dash. TR is again going to be autonomous T dash. But TA is now going to be tax charged on income. Say income tax. Okay. Now we can see its impact on our consumption function. So C is equal to C bar plus C Y plus TR minus TY. Now if we simplify it. Right? Taking y common, right? Now, if we take both exogenous terms or variables together, we can write these two as a bar. So, a bar plus c one minus t y, and this is our new consumption function okay now let us see impact of the same in the ad curve ad equation now we know that ad is equal to c plus i plus g plus nx where we can assume g to be g bar and the rest was over here which was tr is equal to tr bar and ta was equal to ty Okay, so let's replace the value of C with this one. So you get A plus C 1 minus T Y plus I plus G plus NX, right? Bringing these all to our this side, assuming all exogenous terms to be A, get A plus C 1 minus T Y, right? So now this is our aggregate demand when government sector is actively present. And we know that economy is an equilibrium. So AD is equal to Y. Therefore, Y is equal to Okay. And this is the equilibrium output in case of government sector, presence of government sector. Sorry. Uh, now we uh, actually we can further simplify it by bringing this this term on our left hand side we can take y common it can be 1 minus c 1 minus t is equal to autonomous a therefore y is equal to a by 1 minus c 1 minus t okay and this is our equilibrium output in presence of government sector. Now let us understand why income taxes are called autonom autonom automatic stabilizers. Well, taxes are said to be automatic stabilizer because as you remember, y is equal to right? So what is the work of stabilizer first of all? 
stabilizer basically reduces fluctuations right or if you see the definition in book automatic stabilizer is any mechanism in economy that automatically reduces the amount by which output changes in response to change in autonomous demand therefore if there is a big change in autonomous demand that is leading to great change in output demanded or output supplied and all so taxes actually reduce this fluctuation how because for example let a b some amount okay and we only have c in our denominator right now which is the previous equilibrium which we studied which was 1 minus c now if you simply subtract it and divide it by this it's going to be a bigger amount than compared to when you additionally subtract that amount with this and then multiply it right it's going to be far smaller and that is how your income tax stabilizes the economy or reduces fluctuations okay 